Hello viewers, welcome to Income Fund Fundas, a unique show simplifying debt markets, hosted by yours truly Sunil Javeri and brought to you by Axis Mutual Fund. Today's query by an investor is a very interesting question which is plaguing the minds of many investors. Why do debt schemes generate negative returns when interest rates go up and why do uh, debt schemes generate positive returns when interest rates go down? How do debt schemes generate returns in the first place and is return equal to the attached coupon? Let me answer this question. Not many investors are aware that there is a negative correlation between the price of a bond or the underlying debt security and the interest rate movements. Let us understand this with an example. Let us assume that you have invested in a debt security with a 10% coupon attached to it with a face value of 100 rupees. If the interest rates go down to say 9%, that means 10% into 100 divided by 9%, the underlying securities value will go up to 111 rupees and 11 paisa. That means it will generate a capital gain of 11 rupees and 11 paisa which means if the interest rates have gone down, the price of the bond will go up. Now let us take the reverse example where the interest rates have gone up instead of going down. So 10% coupon and thereafter if the interest rates have gone up to say 11%, the underlying value of the security will go down to 90 rupees and 90 paisa which is 10% into 100 divided by 11%. That means there will be a capital loss of 9 rupees and 10 paisa per security when interest rates would have gone up after your original investment. As you can see, there is a negative correlation. If the interest rates go up, the underlying value of the securities will go down. If the interest rates go down, the underlying value of the securities will go up. Hope you understood the negative correlation between the underlying value of the security and the interest rate movements. Now let us understand how do debt schemes generate returns. Debt schemes generate returns through accrual plus capital gains or accrual minus capital loss. What is accrual for the investors? Accrual is nothing but the yield which they have captured at the time of investing in that debt space. It can be different from the coupon which in this particular example was 10% but if you bought it at a 9% yield at a different market price the yield for the investor is 9% and not 10%. I have covered this aspect of difference between yield and a coupon in an earlier episode. Finally capital gain is the value of the security going up when the interest rates go down or capital loss is nothing but the value of the security going down when the interest rates go up. I hope viewers have understood why there is negative correlation between the price of a bond and the interest rates. Why do debt markets generate negative returns when the interest rates go up and vice versa and how do returns in debt markets get generated. Thank you so much. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.